the Himalayan Institute Hospital Trust, was founded in 1989 by His Holiness Dr. Swami Rama, a renowned yogi, author, scientist, philosopher, teacher, and humanitarian. Born in the village Toli in Paudi Gadwal, Swami Rama lost his parents at an early age and was raised by his master Bengali Baba, a great yogi and saint of Bengal in the cave monasteries of the Himalayas. In 1949, at the young age of 24 years, Swami Rama was anointed the Shankaracharya of Karvi Peetam in central India. He renounced this prestigious position in 1952 in order to return to his beloved Himalayas to intensify his meditative practices and to prepare himself for his mission of bringing the wisdom of the East to the Western world, serving as a bridge between science and spirituality. Swami Rama arrived in the United States in 1969 in pursuit of his mission. He served as a consultant in a research project investigating the voluntary control of involuntary states at the Manager Foundation in Topeka, Kansas. He amazed scientists by his demonstration under controlled laboratory conditions of his exquisite control of his heart, blood flow and brain waves. His work helped pioneer the use of biofeedback as a therapeutic modality and laid the foundations for stress management and holistic health. In 1977, Swami Rama founded the Himalayan International Institute of Yoga Science and Philosophy of the USA, headquartered in Honesdale, Pennsylvania, to scientifically verify, document, publish, and teach the experiences of his ancient heritage. In his youth, Swami Rama loved to explore the peaks and valleys of his beloved Himalayas. In the course of his travels, he had become acutely aware of the poverty and suffering of the residents of the Gadwal Himalayas and their poor access to good health care and education. He determined that one day he would gather the necessary resources to alleviate their suffering. This resolve was the genesis of the Himalayan Institute Hospital Trust, a gift of eternal gratitude to his beloved Gurudeva, Bengali Baba, and was realized when the royalties of Swamiji's book, Living with the Himalayan Masters, allowed him to purchase land at Jolly Grant for establishing the Himalayan Institute Hospital Trust. And uh, I had a great fire within me to build this great hospital which will serve people, particularly poor people. And uh, you know, the people of the mountain of Kumaung and Garhwal region are very poor. They cannot afford to go to the hospitals because hospitals are far away. The largest hospital is at Dehradun, which, which is only 42 beds hospital. So it's not enough. People die before they reach the hospital. So I want to give them all these facilities and modern amenities so that they don't have to rush to Bombay, Delhi, Chandigarh, and all the problems can be solved at the head of Swamiji established the Himalayan Institute Hospital Trust in 1989, starting with an outpatient clinic of only two rooms. In May 2014, the Himalayan Institute Hospital Trust completed 25 years of service to the residents of Uttarakhand and neighboring states. Today, we have a medical city nestled in a beautiful 200-acre clean, green and serene campus surrounded by the Shivalik foothills. The campus houses an ultra-modern 750-bed multi-specialty hospital and the Swami Rama Himalayan University which currently includes a medical college, 
College of Nursing, School of Engineering and Technology, and School of Management Studies. The campus of HIHT also includes the Rural Development Institute, an Ayurveda Center, and Cancer Research Institute. The hospital has plans for further expansion up to 2,000 beds and is serving the underserved populations of Uttarakhand and adjoining areas of Uttar Pradesh and Himachal Pradesh. The hospital includes a comprehensive reference laboratory, state-of-the-art radiology department, 24-hour emergency department, well-equipped intensive care unit, blood bank with component therapy, eye bank for corneal transplants, modern dialysis unit, cardiac care unit, and a cath lab as well as a dental department. Renal transplants, corneal transplants, angioplasties, open heart surgeries, minimally invasive endoscopic surgeries, joint replacements, advanced spinal surgeries, advanced cancer surgeries, and cleft palate corrective surgeries are routinely performed in this hospital. Through mobile hospitals equipped with basic diagnostic facilities, the hospital also provides regularly scheduled healthcare services to communities living in difficult to reach areas. They have rural development program where we go to the villages, serve poor people, teach them how to live, how to be self-reliant, income generation programs, cleanliness, what education means, what type of education should we have. I do not believe in the education that is being imparted in my country. I feel sorry. You know, this sort of education is not going to help our rising generation. So what actually I want, I want them to learn the basics which are not uh, taught in the schools and universities. Our boys and girls are deprived by that education. How to walk, how to sit, how to talk, how to be straightforward, and how to have perfect control over mind, action, and speech. These basics are is missing in our educational system. The Rural Development Institute, RDI, of the Himalayan Institute Hospital Trust was created by Swami Rama in 1990 in order to serve the underprivileged population of Uttarakhand living in far-flung villages and unable to come to the hospital for their health care needs. The major health care challenges in rural India include a high maternal mortality, high infant mortality, malnutrition in children resulting in low weight and stunted growth and under immunization of the young. These became the focus areas of RDI and were addressed by sending healthcare teams of doctors, nurses and technicians to these remote villages on a regular schedule as well as by training village healthcare workers, midwives and accredited social health activists. Adolescent health also became a major area of RDI activity. Besides healthcare, the other challenges of rural Uttarakhand that RDI has successfully addressed include large-scale water and sanitation programs, solar energy schemes for lighting and pumping water from distant mountain streams, and diversified agricultural support. In order to improve the quality of life of the rural population, RDI is also actively engaged in education and skill development of youth, empowerment of panchayats, income generation activities, and mainstreaming the differently abled. Last but not least, relief and rehabilitation measures are undertaken when disasters strike these vulnerable communities.
In most developing countries, including India, there is a severe shortage of nurses. Swami Rama, well aware of this need for trained nurses at HIHT and the nation, established the basic health worker course in 1992, even before the hospital started operations. In 1996, the School of Nursing received approval to start a three and a half year diploma course in general nursing and midwifery. In 2006, the School of Nursing was upgraded to become the Himalayan College of Nursing, offering a four year Bachelor of Science degree in nursing in addition to the diploma program. In 2010, a two year course in post basic BSc in nursing and a Master of Science in nursing were added. The new Himalayan College of Nursing building was inaugurated in the same year. The uniqueness of the nursing programs at HIHT is that nursing students are not only provided instruction in the art and science of nursing, but are also introduced to the basics of alternate systems of healthcare, including yoga science. Also, a collaborative nursing model has been initiated between the nursing college and the hospital, expert faculty of the college providing hands-on training at the bedside and in the community. In his mission for HIHT, Swami Rama emphasized the need to integrate ancient wisdom with modern knowledge and technologies. In keeping with this mission, HIHT has established outpatient and inpatient therapeutic programs of homeopathy, osteopathy, Ayurveda, yoga and holistic medicine. The Ayurveda Center was constructed in 2003 and offers a comprehensive Panchakarma program for detoxification, rejuvenation and the treatment of chronic diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, irritable bowel syndrome, hemiplegia and morbid obesity. In establishing a medical college at HIHT, Swami Rama wanted to address the shortcomings of the modern system of education and to also provide a synthesis of Eastern and Western knowledge and techniques. The Himalayan Institute of Medical Sciences was the first private medical college in Northern India and enrolled its first batch of 100 MBBS students in 1995. In 2002, the Medical Council of India gave its approval for the college to start postgraduate degree and diploma courses in several medical disciplines. Today, the institute has postgraduate programs in 18 medical specialties. Paramedical degree courses in the medical college include laboratory technology, radiology and imaging technology, physiotherapy, radiotherapy, optometry, OT technology, as well as audiology and speech therapy. In 2006, the Himalayan Institute of Medical Sciences became HIHT University, a deemed university providing medical training that meets international standards. In 2013, the Medical Council of India and the Government of India approved the Medical College for an increased intake of 150 MBBS students each year. In June 2014, the Himalayan Institute of Medical Sciences became a constituent college of Swami Rama Himalayan University. In addition to following the educational guidelines of the Medical Council of India, the Himalayan Institute of Medical Sciences 
has included humanities and yoga in its curriculum. We also conduct a special workshop for undergraduates and postgraduates on the science of joyful living, a workshop incorporating Swami Rama's teachings and techniques on how to integrate body, breath, mind and emotions in order to develop inner potentials and lead a contented, peaceful, stress-free life. The first Bioskill Laboratory of North India has been developed at the Himalayan Institute of Medical Sciences. This laboratory will be utilized for training surgeons of various specialties, senior residents and postgraduate students in acquiring and refining the surgical skills. Swami Rama Himalayan University, a state university, was established by Uttarakhand Act No. 12 of 2013. The constituent colleges of ASRHU are the Himalayan Institute of Medical Sciences, Himalayan College of Nursing, Himalayan School of Management Studies offering both undergraduate and postgraduate programs, and Himalayan School of Engineering and Technology offering undergraduate courses in civil, mechanical and electrical engineering, electronics and communication and computer sciences. SRHU also offers PhD programs in various specialties. The foundation stone of the Cancer Research Institute was laid in 2007. This institute, inspired by the vision of His Holiness Dr. Swami Rama, addresses all aspects of cancer control such as prevention, early detection and cancer therapy supported by research and education. The Cancer Research Institute has state-of-the-art facilities for surgical oncology, chemotherapy, radiotherapy and nuclear medicine. Alternative medicine and holistic principles as taught by Dr. Swami Rama are used as adjunctive therapies in the treatment of cancer. Plans for a bone marrow transplant unit are in an advanced stage and the unit will start functioning in the very near future. His Holiness Sri Swami Rama took Mahasamadhi in 1996. In 1997, the Swami Rama Center was created to ensure that his words and works continue to be available as a source of inspiration to countless spiritual seekers. The place where Swami Rama took Mahasamadhi, a bookstore and gift shop, meditative gardens, library and photo gallery of Swami Rama's life are all part of the Swami Rama Center. Besides maintaining an archive of Swami Rama's teachings, photographs and videos, the center also continues to publish new books, CDs and videos incorporating Swami Rama's teachings. The HIHT campus is approximately 200 acres in expanse and is surrounded by the Shivalik foothills of the Himalayas. It is a serene but vibrant place with well sculpted gardens and parks, hostels and sport facilities for almost 1,000 students and residences for the faculty and staff. The campus has a guest house for visitors and low cost accommodation for the attendance of patients from far-off places. The campus also houses the Vidya School, 
an English medium preschool run by the Rural Development Institute, preparing the youngest members of our community for their educational journey. Future plans of HIHT include expanding the beds and medical services of the hospital, linking new clinical facilities in other locations to the hospital, creation of new courses of study in the constituent colleges of Swami Rama Himalayan University, new residential and recreational facilities in the campus for faculty, staff and students, and creation of new campuses, study centers and vocational training institutes in the remote hill locations of Uttarakhand, enabling rural youth to become self-reliant and thus contributing to the development of the state as well as the nation. We have become a small family. The whole world is like a small family. But now we should learn how to live together with each other, how to behave with each other, you see. So it's love that will help, actually. But a selfless person alone has capacity to love others. So selflessness is the foundation stone of entire life concept. Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwara Guru Sakshat Parabrahma